Hello legends and super legends. This is Eldred here. Today I want to do a video about how to ride two abreast properly on the road without upsetting the other road users and making all of us look bad. Um, I've got some clips that I'm going to show and I've got some narrative in the clips, but I just wanted to specify that if you're out there chatting with your buddy, don't block the traffic. Um, if you're on the rivet and you got your head down, you guys are working and say it's windy and you're doing an echelon or whatever, drivers are not going to mind when you're working and moving. But if you're out there socializing, don't impede traffic. You might as well do single file on a two lane road. If the road has multiple lanes, then fine. You can take a lane and then you can go as casually as you want to go. But always be aware of that because it makes all of us look bad when you don't do things in a consider considerate manner. So I just wanted to stress that. So hope you enjoy the videos. I hope they help point out some things that you may already know and it just reinforces that or you may not be aware of. So hope you enjoy. Yeah. All right guys, this is how you ride two abreast. On a road like this, we have two lanes. So we can ride two abreast in the lane. And I've hung back a little bit to just film Paul. Normally I would be right next to him. So it's okay, you can chat. You don't have to be going fast because it's two lanes. When it's one lane, you don't want to do this because it's just rude. You don't want to be chatting and riding two abreast. Drivers don't mind if you put your head down, you're on the rivet, you know. Here we're riding two abreast. It's two lanes, so we take the first lane. You can see Paul is to the right of that dirty mark that the cars leave. That's the way you do, use this half of the lane. And so, you're not over by the white line and you just use this piece of road. Now that's pro. That's how the pros ride. You don't need to take up the entire road. So I'm a little over to the right than I would normally be solo. And he's staying to the right of that dirty line. It doesn't matter which side of the road, whether you're riding on the left like they do in the UK, it's the same thing. You stay towards the side closest to the edge of the road. And as long as this road is two lanes, we do that. Now, if you look up there, I'm not sure how good this wide angle is. The road is now becoming one lane, two-way traffic. One lane on each side. So now I'm drifting to the front. Or Paul could have drifted to the front. We just immediately were going single file. Okay. We could have continued riding two abreast, but that would have been just downright rude. And I, when I see cyclists doing that, it annoys me because it's just inconsiderate and it makes all of us look bad. Yeah. So just remember that. Two lane traffic stay. You can see where I am right here. I'm not right next to the white line. I'm about 12 inches to the left of it. This lane is very wide. This is a nine foot lane. So I don't mind them passing me in my lane. And most drivers will give you room. So I just wanted to cover that. And another thing we do, which I will show, I think I can show over here. Paul, go ahead and come up. You can see now, we have a shoulder. So Paul's gonna stay next to the white line. I'm gonna use the shoulder as a result. We're using the same amount of space. You can see here, we have a bit of a shoulder here. This is about a three foot, let me see. I would say two and a half foot shoulder. And you can see I'm in the middle of the shoulder, which is about a foot, so about a two foot shoulder. So I can stay on the shoulder. Paul is right by the white line. We can talk all we want for miles and miles where the road is like this and not annoy people and act like a bunch of jerks. So that's, that's what this is. When the circumstances like this, this is what we do. And we can still pass the hours with conversation. And then once this shoulder starts to end, I'm gonna either get in front of him or slip behind him. This way, we're not acting like we own the road or just being rude. So just wanted to point that out. So watch here. The road here is getting rough, the shoulder. I'm gonna slip behind Paul, right here. You can see all the bumps. I got out of there because it's real crappy. 
And all I did was I got behind him. This is what I'm talking about. And if I still want to chat, I move deliberately to the right because it's got a bit of a crack. So I move deliberately and now we can talk. As a result, we're still using just a little bit of the road space. This is pro, fellas. Okay, the serious riders don't go out to, to confront and annoy other road users. Oh, Texas, now this is a shoulder. Look at this, this is brand new. This shoulder is about six feet. Let's see, one, two, three, four, say five feet. Usable road, I wouldn't ride to the right there because it slopes. That's for runoff to let the water run off the road. But this is a shoulder. So there is absolutely no reason to not use the shoulder. So we're riding side by side and just enjoying the road. This is nice. Newly paid. They did a great job. Here.